Hey there, in this video, we're going to take a look at the image widget and I'd like to show you some ways in which you can configure it. For us to get started, I am going to bring in an image widget into the canvas. So I'm just going to drag one right here and I'm going to resize this a bit so that we have more room to work with. The first property you notice right here is the image property. And here is where you supply the image URL or a base is the first string that will be rendered as the image within the widget. I'm going to paste in something I have right here into the image um, property. And here we have the image showing up on the widget. The next property we have is the default image. And this is the image that will be showing up if the image is not available. So here we have a placeholder image showing up whenever the image is invalid or not available. Let's put that back. The next property we have in the image widget is the visibility. And we can set the visibility by toggling on the switch on or off, or we can go down to the JavaScript mode and write some conditional logic to programmatically set the visibility of the widget. We can also go ahead to configure the max zoom level. And what this does is that it specifies how much users will be able to zoom into the image shown within the image widget. So for example, we have set the max zoom level to 4x. Users will be able to zoom um, 4x into the image. Or we can go ahead to set this to no zoom and the uh, user would not be able to zoom into the image. Let's zoom out and let's set this back to no zoom. Then we can also set some actions for the image widget. We can go ahead to specify an action to be executed whenever the widget is clicked. And for the actions, we can select an action from the list shown right here, or we can go into the JavaScript mode and write some um, logic that we want to be executed whenever the widget is clicked on. So this has been the image widget, and I hope you found this video helpful.